Hello everyone, my name is Chad and today we are going to take a look at the A10 CamLive Pro video capture device. The CamLive Pro is a 4K video capture and switch device for live streaming. Essentially, it is an all-in-one live streaming studio in a portable size. The CamLive Pro is also plug and play, which means it does scaling in real time, no matter the input resolution or frame rate. It is also controlled wirelessly with our app for Android and iOS smartphones. With the app, you can switch between and edit eight scene presets on the fly. You also have DVE options and a chroma here so you can insert a background or set your logo as a background like this. It's amazing, I know. In addition to the app, simply connect CamLive Pro to a PC or laptop, either Windows or a Mac, it doesn't matter. You can stream out your content either way. Whether you're streaming a conference, meeting, lecture, or worship service, the CamLive Pro can go where you need to go, and it'll provide you with much higher video quality and pro-level effects, much better than a traditional webcam setup can ever offer. Now let's take a closer look at the CamLive Pro and how to begin using it. The CamLive Pro can be used with 4K cameras, camcorders, and action cameras. Simply connect the cameras with an HDMI cable to the CamLive Pro. It will then send your stream to your computer via USB. The next thing to plug in is a microphone to ensure better sound quality. You can use any microphone with the CamLive Pro, so long as it has an XLR connection. If you want to see your stream on a larger display, you can output the stream to a separate monitor with an HDMI cable and watch your content to ensure it is displaying correctly. The CamLive Pro can stream to all popular video conferencing software, including Teams and Zoom. To output your stream in FHD format, connect the CamLive Pro to a laptop or mobile device. Switching, editing, and more is all done on the A10 on-air light app for Android or iOS. Your smartphone connects to the CamLive Pro via Bluetooth. The benefit of this is that you don't need to stay near your live streaming equipment. Instead, you can move about freely and simply control your stream's output from your phone. In addition, just one person can control the entire live stream setup and your setup is smaller and neater with the CamLive Pro. To use the on-air light app, first download it from either Google Play or the App Store. Open the app and connect to your CamLive Pro. For today's setup, we're already connected. You'll now see the home page of the app, which is also the video mixer page. Here you'll find eight different scene presets that you can switch between during the stream. The blue HDMI 1 highlight is camera 1, and the orange is camera 2. If you want to switch from, say, camera 1 to a picture-in-picture, -picture, simply tap on that scene preset. And there you have it. It just works. If you want to change one of these scene presets, just tap the edit button, and it will take you to the editing screen. You can choose from four base layouts on the right. And then here you can move around and resize the video source and create the layout that you want. Lastly, here at the bottom right, you can choose whether or not you want to use the chroma key effect. To use chroma key, go to the settings. Here you can choose your target input, what the color of the background to replace it will be. You can do this either through the RGB code or manually choosing your color. To fine tune the chroma key, go back and adjust the color range and threshold numbers. This will help to give you the desired definition on your chroma key effect. If you want to adjust your audio, you can do that on the audio page. As you can see here, you have both HDMIs, two analog inputs, your PGM or program mix, which is what the audience will hear. 
you can adjust the volume, whether it's more to the left or right, or turn a source on or off from this menu. Finally, let's go back into the settings page. If you're using a two camera setup for two speakers and don't want to manually switch each time someone speaks, you can use the auto switch function. This allows for a camera to switch automatically to an audio source. If you have two cameras, one on each speaker, whenever someone speaks, the video will switch automatically to them. Here, you can select from one of eight scene presets from either two HDMI or analog inputs. If you click the gear icon on the bottom of the page, you can adjust the sensitivity and duration. Next, go to advanced. Here you can pick your stream output, resolution, 720p, 1080p, and all the way up to 4K. You can also select your frame rate. We have it at 30 frames per second for now. If you're using CamLive Pro with video conferencing software, these settings will be dictated by the applications. Last but not least, you can choose your USB video output to go to either your phone or PC and decide if you want a border or not. Now let's see the CamLive Pro in action. I'll use it to start streaming on Skype in high quality. Now I'll switch it over to Teams. It's just that easy to get started with a plug and play device like the Cam Live Pro to create live streams with pro level effects. Thank you for watching our video on the Cam Live Pro. For more information about this device or any of our other live streaming solutions, please visit us at www.a10.com.